Digital Romance TV. Hey folks, Michael Fiore. Welcome back to digitalromance.tv. This is the plucky and fascinating Nora. And this is part two of our little mini-series on how long <laughs> you should wait for a guy to actually propose. The question, the, the question, the topic today well, the, is... Well, this is one, this one, the one before that we yeah. did was why he still won't propose or what why makes a man propose. finally propose to a woman. Yes. And this one is how long should you, should you wait for him to propose before giving up? And I get to say my favorite thing in the world that I often on the podcast have to shout to the rafters, which is never wait for a man. No. Which is so sad, so sad. Um, as we said in the last video, the idea of like waiting around for a guy to finally propose is kind of dumb in the first place because a lot of guys are totally happy not being married. Your job, if marriage is important to you, is to make that an apparent thing that he is painfully aware of pretty much from day one of your actual relationship. It doesn't mean on your first date you say, I can't wait till we get married someday because that's a bad idea. But he should know that the idea of marriage actually means something to you. Right. And especially in the modern age, a lot of people don't get married. And that's fine. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. It's, I'm not saying it's a dying institution, but I think it's becoming more optional for people. Um, so don't assume that he knows that that's what you don't want. Don't assume that he knows that's what you want. I do remember we got an email uh, on the podcast once from a woman who said that she had waited for seven years twice. Which I'm thinking is, is that 14 years? I, well, that, that's yeah. what the math that's says. 14 years of waiting for a guy to propose. Um, if it's important to you to be, have a marriage and have that be a thing, hopefully in your conversations with a guy, he said, yeah, I might be open to the idea of getting married someday. Right. I mean, and, and again, for that first couple of years, it can just be someday and that's totally fine. Uh, after that, if he's kind of dragging his feet a little bit, you're going to resent him if you just kind of sit around. You're going to be one of those women that starts thinking, I wasted my time with you. Or even worse, my childbearing years. My child if you want to have years. children someday. I wasted my childbearing years. Which means you really just shouldn't wait for a man in general. We get a lot of emails from women saying, oh, I'm dating this guy, but you know, he and his ex-wife are still trying to work things out, and Gosh. should I wait for him? No. Never wait for a man. Oh, I've got this guy, I've been dating him for five years, and he still hasn't proposed, I really want to get married, what should I do? A, make sure he knows you want to get married, and let him, don't give him an ultimatum, but simply make a statement that says, I really want to get married, and if that's not interesting to you, I'm going to move on. But there's also, I, yeah, I mean, I know a, a couple of different um, couples uh, couple where couples. they know they both love each other extremely, mm -hmm. so they have different life goals, but they can't let go of that love. Yes. They can't let go of that relationship because the relationship, other than the fact that, like, one she wants, wants kids, kids and, and he doesn't, besides that, everything is great, except that they're living in this present for three, four years and not looking down the road and eventually they have to, one of them has to be strong enough to say, I can't be here because I need to move on and find somebody that shares that goal. Probably the one who, who wants to have the children because because the other the other one's going to sit around and the, the, whether it's a guy or a girl, also, maybe, maybe she'll change her mind. But someday. also, the other one needs to be strong enough to say, "I, I have to let you go and, yeah. and find that person because it isn't me. And it might, this, yeah. it, it will never be me." Yeah. And we said this in the last video, but love isn't always enough. Right. right? Love often isn't enough, basically. Right. Um, being in love is wonderful, but you have to like the person, you have to want, have the same goals. A, a, a long-term relationship is a partnership. A marriage is a partnership where you're trying to build a life together. And yes, you should love the person, but there's more to it than that. Yep. So how long should you wait? Um, really, you know, I kind of feel like, uh, to answer your question bluntly, three years is a pretty good metric, or somewhere around there. You know, if you've been dating for a couple of years, as long and you've as been he, having the conversation. But never wait if you if you haven't heard from him that that is something he wants yeah. someday. Yeah. Never wait for somebody to change their mind. Yeah. Never yeah. wait in a relationship if you have a specific goal and that person clearly states that no. they don't because you're not going to change them. Your love is not going to be enough to make them change their life goal. No one's ever gonna get George Clooney to get married again. He said it many times, it's a fact. No matter what happens, yeah. So there you go. Um, if you want to know more about um, us and the videos we do, go to digitalromance.tv. And if you want to know how my fiance, my wife actually, made me fall in love with her, you can check out a fascinating video I did called Three Ways to Make a Man Love You, which you'll find at the link that you see below. It's very personal, kind of scary. Good though. For him. I, I was scared when I recorded it. I'm still scared now. <laughs> Digital Romance. TV.